Just two years after joining chipmaker Advanced Micro Devices in 2012, IBM veteran Lisa Su was tapped to take the top job. Now she is one of just 26 U.S. self-made women and a new billionaire. Hi everyone, I'm Rosemary Miller here with Carrie Dolan, an assistant managing editor here at Forbes. Carrie, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Rosemary. Absolutely. So, Carrie, who is Lisa Su and how much is she worth? Lisa Su is the CEO of a semiconductor company, Advanced Micro Devices, often known as AMD. And she's been CEO since 2014, and she is recently become a billionaire. Forbes estimates she's worth $1.1 billion. Wow. So, what does AMD do? AMD is a so-called fabless semiconductor company. And by fabless, we mean it doesn't have a fabrication plant. It doesn't make its own chips. So like NVIDIA, another big semiconductor company, it designs and tests the chips and has another company, uh, usually TSMC in Taiwan, make the chips. So once Sue took the top position at AMD, uh, what was her plan to fix the struggling company? Yeah, so when she got there, she was hired into the company in 2012. She'd been at IBM and Freescale Semiconductor. She's super qualified. She's got a PhD in uh, electronic engineering from MIT. Um, she, this, the company had just laid off uh, a quarter of its staff um, in 2014 before she took over as CEO. The stock was at, at $2 a share. So it was really struggling. Her plan was just to, she had a three-part plan, create great products, deepen customer trust, and simplify the company. And it took a few years, but she worked um, with her team of engineers and they came up with a new chip arch architecture called Zen, which is known for being uh, complex um, and very fast. Mm -hmm. And that has helped the company um, make headway in the market. Oh, and how much has this company turned around? Yeah, it's, it's really been an amazing turnaround. Um, the stock has gone from 2 or $3 when she was in, in, uh, just appointed CEO to $175 a share. The company now has a market capitalization of $270 billion or so, which is actually bigger than the market cap of longtime chip company, you know, really famous um, Intel, um, which is, you know, worth about $90 billion less than, than uh, AMD is today. And what are some of the businesses that uh, AMD has partnered with that our audience may be familiar with? Yeah, sure. certainly. There's a bunch of really well-known uh, companies that AMD's done business with. NASA, Microsoft, Meta, aka Facebook, uh, Lenovo, uh, Oracle, and Dell, to name a, a handful of, of mm -hmm. them. And what have they done in these partnerships together? So they're basically selling their, their chips to these companies for use in a whole range of, of, of applications. One of the big growth areas for AMD is data centers, chips for data centers. And also another thing that's really um, driving the growth of the company um, and of course driving the growth of a lot of companies is generative AI. Um, Lisa Su at a conference in December said that they think the market, the industry-wide market for chips that would um, power computing for, for generative AI is a mm -hmm. $77 billion a year market this year, and that it will grow at 70% a year um, for the next three years, four years through 2027. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge um, growth area for them. She told Forbes, we put her on the cover of Forbes in May, and she told us that, you know, looking out five years from now, every growth opportunity at, at um, AMD will be driven by AI. Well, Carrie, how rare is it for a woman to be the CEO of a semi semiconductor company? It's quite rare. I mean, she's talked about how she's gone into rooms as a CEO and been the only woman in a room of all um, male leaders in the industry. Um, so she's really passionate about getting more women involved, young women involved in science and changing that pipeline so that she won't be such a rare commodity going forward. <laughs> yes, as a struggle I think many of us see these days. 
being the only woman, or in my case, sometimes the only black woman in the room. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Carrie. Thanks a lot.